I'm Noel Midkiff. And I'm Lauren Clark, and this is Hawk News Live for February 19th. Congratulations to the following students, faculty, and staff for February Hawk recognition. Our Hawk of the Month is Brooke Hartman, scholar Emma Ferguson, citizen Caleb Kirsted, and athlete Casey Earhart. Teacher of the Month, Mrs. Farrell. Teaching Technique, Mrs. Repkowski. Educational Atmosphere, Mrs. Morris. And Special Projects, Mrs. Cooney. Our staff member for February is Mrs. Connie Slayton and our volunteers, Charlie Brown and Jordan Brown. Congratulations to all of these amazing Hawks. Our Lady Hawks softball team did it again. Our JV team won 15-0. Brandy Polk pitched a shutout and also hit two doubles. Olivia Chiatsu hit a home run. The varsity team gave FPC their first loss with a convincing 10-0 no-hit win. A big shout-out to Kayla Corbin for her first home run that ended the game in the fifth. Come out and see them in action tonight, 4.30 and 6.30. Go Hawks! Attention seniors who are interested in registering for your fall semester of college at Daytona State. DSC will be here on campus Friday, February 26th from 8.30 until 1. Please stop by Mrs. Turngren's office ASAP to select an appointment time for that day. Go online and start filling out their DSC applications before your scheduled appointment. If you have any questions or concerns about your registration, please see your counselor. We have several upcoming volunteer opportunities. 31st and 7th Media is looking for students to volunteer this Friday as extras in a program rehearsal. This event is located in Port Orange. Port Orange Family Days is looking for volunteers March 3rd through the 6th. The Jewish Heritage Festival in Ormond Beach is also looking for students to help on April 1st or April 3rd. Please check the bulletin board near the activities office or see Ms. Rocco for more information. Who will kiss the pig? Now's your chance to pick your favorite administrator to kiss a pig live during lunch on March 4th. Fill their jar with your loose change in dollars between now and March 3rd. The administrator that collects the most will have to kiss the pig. Proceeds benefit the United Negro College Fund. Any juniors interested in applying for Mr. and Ms. Spruce Creek must pick up an application from Mrs. Cicerelli in the auditorium or Ms. Rocco in the activities office. All completed applications are due by today, February 19th by 3 p.m. There will be a meeting in the gym on Friday during lunch for anybody who wants to play in the intramural basketball league. If you think you have what it takes, come to the meeting. See Coach Giddens if you have any questions. Urintown opens its gates tonight at 7 p.m. for the past month. The performers have worked very hard to get everything together, and you don't want to miss it. Urintown runs for two weekends. Tickets are sold at the door. Expect the unexpected. See you this weekend. There are a limited number of yearbooks remaining to pre-order. Get yours today for $100 online or in room 022. This Friday is Flight Yearbook Night at Sweet Frog's Frozen Yogurt from 4 to 9 p.m. Be sure to stop in and tell them you're supporting the Flight Yearbook with your purchase. Natalia Barnett was on the news yesterday with an announcement about next week's Black History Week. We intended to show her message again today, but there was a problem with the recording of yesterday's broadcast. Here is the information she shared February 22nd, 2016 through February 26th, 2016 is Black History Week. Each day will have a different time. Monday will be Night at the Apollo. Tuesday is Harlem Renaissance or 30s Day. Wednesday is Nationality Day. Thursday is Jazz Night and Friday is Poetry Slam. Posters will be posted throughout the school. Please participate for Black History Awareness. People with the best costume or the most spirit will receive various prizes and gift cards. Also, join us in the gym Monday, February 22nd, for a slam dunk contest. That's all for today. We'll see you in the news. It's a great day to be a hawk.